everyone so this video is going to be about my mentoring programs that is um, with Glo mentor, uh, global thinkers mentors forum and um, i'm part of two of their programs one is um, athena mena which is uh, with manar from uae and dubai and the second one is uh, with um, amira who's from tunisia and that is telemachis 2019 so my experience has been excellent so far because i never expected that you know i would get mentees who are so aligned and so similar and going through similar challenges what i've been through already so i'll just share three things which uh, we've discussed and we've learned from each other and um, how this mentoring program has been for me as a mentor and uh, what kind of growth we've seen in myself as a mentor and i've seen in my mentees as well that is amira and manar so um first thing that i'm so glad that there is a platform like uh, mentors uh, global thinkers mentors forum which is connecting mentors with mentees and um, helping in raising leaders who are accountable who have strategies who have some thought leadership in them especially everything to do with females so that's the first thing and what i have uh, realized through my program is like um, having like spoken twice or thrice with both my mentees i've realized something that um, financial independence is very important in a woman's life uh, and i'll share the conversation that we've had around that so the reason financial independence is very important is because a lot of times you know when we are young and uh, we're dependent on our fathers or um, husbands or spouse uh, a son or anybody in the family any male member in the family we don't really understand the hard work that is there uh, that is involved and the kind of effort that these men have to put to earn and um, earn an income and bring it home and how to manage the finance and it's very easy to demand and say i want this and i want that but not um, feeling like what it takes to earn that money secondly the respect that you get when you're earning so a lot of times we feel that you know let's do just honorary jobs or voluntary jobs or it's okay you know i don't need to earn but honestly you know when you're earning you really feel respect for yourself because it takes a lot of hard work brain work and heart work to be able to earn and then deciding where to spend and how to spend and how to save and how to invest so financial literacy plays a huge role in this and how you spend the money how you earn the money how you invest the money is talks a lot about you as a person thirdly it feels great you know when you can earn and spend it on those you love you know as a female and and from the romantic stories and novels and movies and serials and dramas that we see that women are the ones who love surprises who love the idea of oh the man i love is giving me this my father has given me this my husband has given me this my boyfriend has given me this or um, we feel so delighted when somebody gives us a surprise but just think about it when you yourself are earning something and you can give your family surprise when you can go to your elderly people your elders your family and say do you need something i want to give you this gift or you buy a surprise phone or anything else for your family and go back and give it it's a different feeling altogether or imagine you know a month when you want to just save up for gifting everybody something and not spending it on yourself for that particular month like the extra stuff you know for the entertainment or the luxury or other things so uh, this is something i realized both my mentees are going through and uh, they they shared similar feelings of uh, the reason for being financially ind financially independent and to um, have that responsibility and accountability when you are doing a job now second thing is about the job itself so there's one of my mentee who is um, doing a job under a company and she's into finance and um, she's also doing a thesis continuing her studies and writing on um, the youth opportunities and uh, youth development in her country and what i realized in her story was um, her ability to kind of balance out so she realized that uh, she, her mental peace is so important saying no is important because as women we are always taught to say yes 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 you know we love the answer yes or we always want to hear yes or we always say yes so i really feel that as a woman you must know your boundaries as to where you must say no and if it affects your mental peace if it affects your growth by all means say no 
uh, also I've realized that in Manar's like a uh, story that I've figured out she's someone who really prioritizes her self uh, growth and self um, development and that is something even I associate with and even uh, Amira associates with that um, a lot of times we feel that we need to be around people and socializing and letting everybody know how great we are and how wonderful and decking up and being everywhere of course that's an integral part of life that is something we must all um, engage in because we are social beings and we would look forward to human interactions but there's a limit to it because at the end of the day you know you're always surrounded by people be it family be it work uh, colleagues or people you serve your customers your clients or your students if you're in the education sector the point is you know when you're always surrounded by people you need your mental peace because unless you preserve yourself you can't preserve humanity a lot of times we feel that um, oh no i'm good you know I'm, i i know there's this whole two extremes there's one extreme of support system being surrounded by people people to love you and uh, share things with of course that that's important at the same time there's the other extreme oh i don't want to be around anybody i hate people i love myself and i need uh, to be alone and all of that is also fine but there needs to be a certain balance you need to be socially um, connected with people but yes hang out with people network with people meet people and that that's a very important part of life but at the same time it's very important to have some me time set aside whether you're a man or a woman you need the me time because that is what if you are spending the me time you you have the time to reflect you learn to enjoy your own company and that is something i've also realized is very important because a lot of times we feel this you know uh, you complete me you know that sentence which is there that you are half in this half and a half that uh, kind of becomes a whole so what i've realized is unless you are complete you can't have a good relationship and uh, we the, the society you know talks about of course it seems glamour you can it's very glamorous to say you complete me you are my better half but trust me you know when that's the attitude with which you get into a relationship it's a disaster it's it's a disaster for uh, marriage it's a disaster for i um, mean almost leading to divorce the, the kind of mindset you have because you are expecting a lot from the other person when you're putting half and half but the moment you say yes i'm full i love my own company i i enjoy my own uh, alone time i don't that a loneliness does not bite me anymore and I, I love being with myself, doing things with myself, enjoying my own company. When you get into that state of life, that phase of life, it is so so beneficial because at that point, then when you get into a relationship, you're able to offer more because you are your cup is brimming. You know, it's full, and it's not like you're going to pour from the half cup or you are incomplete and you kind of look. and expect too much from the other person because it's unfair you don't know at times in a relationship it's not always going to be 50 50 at times you'll have to give 20 the other person gives 80 sometimes it's reverse you have to give 80 the other person gives 20 you know depending on what situations you go through so it's not a 50 50 all the time so unless you are 100% it's difficult to pour into other cups it can be in any relationship it can be the relationship of marriage it can be relationship with parents with children any relationship and uh, that is very important as i said and lastly um, a very uh, important thing that i realized is a uh, willingness to learn and invest in yourself so a lot of times we feel that oh i've reached a certain stage of life where i don't need to learn anymore i've got a job i i don't need to learn anymore i've reached this level of maybe in business and i don't need to learn anymore that's when the destruction starts because you feel you are you've already reached the end and you've reached the 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 point where it's it's enough no yes you must have gratitude you must feel grateful to people to god and also be satisfied and content but also having that thirst and hunger and desire to go for bigger things in life because every time you feel you've reached something have a bigger goal you know have that desire to reach for the next point you know something bigger something better something harder and challenging because that'll always help you go ahead in life that will make you better that will help you accomplish more in life personally and professionally so i'm very grateful to global thinkers mentors forum for opportunities to be a mentor on two of the programs in the same year and i'm very very glad to have uh, two of my uh, mentees amira and manar 
um thank you so much for trusting me and for sharing everything that you are sharing with me i hope the rest of the year of the program proves to be fruitful for you and for me and thank you um global thinkers mentors forum for this opportunity to be a mentor i'm loving it it's it's a pleasure and to especially like learn from women so different from myself from two different geographies from uh, coming from different experiences and backgrounds one in finance the other in technology both of which i'm interested in so of course it's a win win situation i keep learning thanks again